My name is Juliana. Uh, I am a writer and director living in Toronto. Uh, I tell stories about queer and female characters. Um, and my latest feature, my first feature, Aaron's Guide to Kissing Girls, uh, is out now. I've seen some clips in the trailers and it looks amazing. Can you just tell everyone what this movie is all about? So Aaron's Guide to Kissing Girls follows uh, middle school nerds, uh, Aaron and Liz, uh, and their best friends sort of in their own little bubble. And they have their friendship tested when Liz is accepted into a private athletic school and Aaron starts to fall for the popular new girl, Sydney. And what drew you to these characters? Why eighth grade? Like, what was it like really deciding like this is the story that you wanted to tell? This lack of positive representation I was seeing in queer coming of age stories, and especially for this age group, um, a lot of queer stories don't like the youngest the characters they focus on are like in like grade 11, you know, like they're they're older, they're 16 or 17 years old. Um, but with like the age of the internet and everything, um, young people are learning more about themselves. They're feeling like confident enough to like um, come out and identify things about them at younger ages. And there's just nothing for them to see themselves like positively represented. I think like this age group, um, like a lot of people don't want to want to touch it because they don't think that people will take it seriously. But it's just it's just such a shame that like young queer people just like never get to see themselves represented on screen as a result of that. Yeah, I don't know. I just really wanted to to capture like a lot of these feelings that I was feeling back then. You've said previously that this movie is a love letter to yourself. So I wanted to ask, I mean, how much of your personal experience is in this and how did it feel to see it come to the screen? I was definitely not out when I was in grade eight. I didn't come out till like much later in life. Uh, I think partly because like I didn't even know like my sexuality was an option. I wasn't like seeing it anywhere in the media. Like, you know, I went to Catholic school, all these things. Um, and uh, yeah, and and I call it a love letter to my younger self because I wish I could have been like as out and unapologetically myself as Aaron is in the film. Um, it's like capturing all of these big feelings that I was having at that age and being able to tell it through a queer lens um, and like honoring that like fiery, like ball of emotion that I was uh, when I was like 13 um, and trying to also capture it with, uh, with both like authenticity, but also um, like care, like, not in a way that made it feel like we're making fun of the characters like it's funny because it's awkward to be like a preteen and like there's a lot of things that people remember from being that age but i never wanted it to feel like we're making fun of these characters because when you're going through it like it is real you know like all of these feelings that you're feeling like matter so yeah I loved the moment with the like kissing on the hand because it's, <laughs> it's awkward, but it's like, we, you've all been there. Don't try to yeah, exactly. deny it. And so I wanted to ask like, what scenes did you want to make sure that you brought into this? I think I like went through like different versions of, of the script. And at one point, my, uh, one of my story editors was like, I think you need to make it more gross. Like kids are like kind of like weird and like gross. Like there's a scene where, um, like there are girls comparing like leg hair removal. Um, and then they like go to Erin and they ask to see her leg and it's like not shaved. Um, and she's sort of like ostracized for that. And I like, I also like have like that sort of memory of uh, hearing all of like the girls in my grade, like doing all of these things that I was like, oh wait, like, are we supposed to be doing that now? Like, oh, we're, we're wearing bras now. Okay. Got it. And like, you know, all these, uh, like awkward things that like come at that age um and like the feeling that i was uh overall trying to instill in the film is this feeling that i had a feeling like i had to like grow up suddenly because it's it's so hard the line is so blurred when you're like a preteen of like you're in you're a child but now like all of a sudden you're like this teen or like you know you're you're older 
now and you like you care about like relationships and and um you know how you dress and like everything is like suddenly like more grown up and i felt like one day i went to school and everyone had gotten a memo that i hadn't and i was i was still like in kid land um and so i was just trying to like straddle this feeling um through that uh through the film yeah yes i love it and i love that it still touches on the queerness and the accepting of yourself but also just all of the other weird awkward things that we all have to go (laughs) through so it's really really beautiful and going into just creating the film how was it choosing these amazing three actors that were going to play these characters yeah oh my gosh we i'm like so lucky with the actors that we got for for aaron liz sydney and like everyone else too like we had a really really solid cast but the three leads in particular um it was it was a very like drawn out casting process because of covid uh because we had started casting them in early 2020 and we were just about to book them when the pandemic hit and we decided to like push a year and it's like the age where a year can make a difference and we were like okay so we'll i guess like jump on a zoom a year later and hopefully uh (laughs) hopefully you've retained your youth which luckily they had because i was like really attached to them but they had actually all three had first come in to audition for aaron um and then it was just a matter of like figuring out where they fit best but i think um elliot was pretty obvious to us right away that they were going to be aaron um mostly because uh they came into the audition and like told us that they like identified with the character in that they were also queer and whatnot um and just like brought so much like joy and fun to the character that was like there and it just felt like very natural for them you know you can you can teach acting but you can't teach experience and so because they had had like so many of these experiences uh of the character of Aaron I knew that you know that they would be able to to pull it off um yeah and Jessica is just amazing I think we auditioned her for like every role and eventually like settled on Liz and then when Rosie came in, we were like, oh my gosh, she's like way too cool to be li- to be Aaron or Liz because she just has like this like easy coolness about her. And so that's sort of like sparked the idea that she could be a perfect Sydney. And she was. <laughs> and since the film is officially out now, have you had any feedback? Have you heard any people reach out and say what their reaction to this has been? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I've been fielding so many positive um, messages. Uh, even just before this, I got a um, a text from my, one of my producers who had a friend of a friend who brought like a 12 year old to go see the film. And then she like turned to her mom afterwards and said, like, I think I'm like Aaron. Um, and she had like queer adults in her life, but it was it wasn't until she saw a character like this, her own age, that she realized it was a possibility for her. And I just like <laughs> the fact that this film um, can, you know, spark that in like a young person is exactly like the reason why I went into making it. And it's just very, very gratifying to hear that it's like reaching its audience and, um, you know, striking a chord representation is slowly growing in media we're seeing more things like heartstopper that everyone loves and like films like love simon and now this one um is there any stories that you want to see told in the media by you or by anyone else like what you think is still we're still looking for yeah i mean like i feel like representation has come such a long way um which is wonderful and i but i also think like it has a long way to go still like there's a lot of characters who i'd like to see i'd like to see a lot more non-binary characters and like asexual characters i would love to see like characters who wear hijabs more and like characters who are like neurodivergent i feel like there's like a whole like breadth of stories that you know we're just like on the tip of like getting to to experience in here um and some of these stories like i'll want to tell and some of these stories i look forward to like seeing other filmmakers tell but um i'm hoping that like other people have a chance to 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 tell their own stories because it's uh it's very very important well thank you so much for chatting with me this was amazing and congratulations again thank you so much caitlin